In this video, we will perform time conversions using unit fractions. In the first example, we're asked to convert eight hours to seconds, again, using unit fractions. We first write eight hours as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now I multiply by unit fractions to convert hours to seconds. Notice how there is no direct conversion from hours to seconds. We will have to use more than one conversion. Since one hour equals 60 minutes, we can use this conversion to convert to minutes, and then because one minute equals 60 seconds, we can use this conversion to finally convert to seconds. Because we have to use two conversions, we need to multiply by two unit fractions. Let's first convert hours to minutes. Because we have hours in the numerator here, and we want hours to simplify out, for the first unit fraction, hours must be in the denominator, which means we have minutes in the numerator. And since one hour equals 60 minutes, the first unit fraction is 60 minutes over one hour. And notice how we have hours divided by hours, and therefore hours simplify out, and now we have minutes. But our goal is to have seconds, so now we convert minutes to seconds. Because we have minutes in the numerator, and we want minutes to simplify out, for the next unit fraction, minutes must be in the denominator, which means we have seconds in the numerator. And because one minute equals 60 seconds, the unit fraction is 60 seconds over one minute. And notice minutes simplify out because we have minutes divided by minutes. So now we have seconds, and therefore to perform the conversion, we now multiply. We have eight times 60 times 60, which is 28,800. We have 28,800 seconds. So now we know eight hours is equal to 28,800 seconds. And now for the second example, we're asked to convert seven days to seconds, again, using unit fractions. We begin by writing seven days as a fraction with a denominator of one, and there's no conversion from days to seconds. We have to first convert days to hours, then hours to minutes, and finally minutes to seconds. Because we have to use three conversions, this time we need three unit fractions. Let's first convert days to hours. We want days to simplify out, and therefore we have to have days in the denominator and hours in the numerator. And one day is equal to 24 hours, and therefore the first unit fraction is 24 hours over one day. Notice we have days divided by days, days simplify out, and now we convert hours to minutes. We want hours to simplify out, hours must be in the denominator, and minutes in the numerator. One hour is equal to 60 minutes, and therefore the unit fraction is 60 minutes divided by one hour. We have hours divided by hours, and therefore hours simplify out, and now we have minutes, but our goal is seconds, so we convert minutes to seconds using the conversion one minute equals 60 seconds. We want minutes to simplify out. Minutes must be in the denominator, seconds in the numerator. The conversion is one minute equals 60 seconds. The unit fraction is 60 seconds over one minute. And minutes simplify out, leaving us with seconds. So now multiplying, we have seven times 24 times 60 times 60, and the units are now seconds. Going back to the calculator, the product is 604,800, which gives us 604,800 seconds. So now we know seven days, which is one week, is equal to 604,800 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.